guys and welcome to the second tutorial of our GTK toolbar in this video we are going to learn new functions until now we saw how we can create a tool item and insert it inside our toolbar now we are going to move on with the new functions and the first function which I'm uh, going to uh, introduce you it is called uh, GTK uh, toolbar set icon size uh, where is it set icon size right here the gtk toolbar sets icon size basically sets the icon size this function sets the size of the stock icons in the toolbar you can call it both uh, before you add the icons and after they've been added so the size you set will override your preference for the default size icon in other words uh, you remember in the last video in the first video when we were creating the tool uh, the image right here we decide to create a computer and we said that uh, the size of the um, computer should be the button so basically it is uh, this size It's not very big but just watch the size of the button right now now if you call this function let me call it and uh, gtk tool bar and then, then the next thing says the gtk icon size the gtk icon size there are uh, a lot of them now i'm going to 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 choose the menu because it is the smallest or, the, or, or at least uh, or let's say the small toolbar now i'm going to change it to small toolbar and you will see the difference now it is much smaller than the the menu or the button one you see how small it is now uh, let me comment right now and check it again and i will let it comment it you will see it's bigger so basically this is what does this function see now we have a big icon and that's it that's the thing which this function does now the next function which i'm going to introduce you uh it is the function or, be, or better said i'm going to do something different i'm going to call the unset on it uh, let me see where it because it has a function unset I think I saw it uh, GTK uh, toolbar GTK toolbar get and and and, and unset right here sorry so the GTK toolbar unset icon size basically if you call this function uh, right after you call this function let me pass the toolbar now if you called this function and now you unset its size basically it's the same like you never called these two functions i'm going to show you now at this point we have you see the same size like before we had it and uh, did nothing changed now the next function which uh, i'm going to introduce you let's see uh, let's see this one uh, gtk toolbar set show arrow what exactly means this one sets whether whatever whether sorry to show an overflow menu uh, when toolbar isn't allocated enough size to, is not allocated enough size to show all of its terms so in other items uh, if true items which can fit in toolbar and which have proxy menu items set by gtk tool whatever it is too much complicated i'm going to show you something let me compile it by default it's set to true watch you see here is the the button and watch what happens uh, when i resize the window you see you get an arrow right here and now if you click on this arrow uh, it will reveal the button and you can click it you see so basically this is what this function does uh, sets if uh, to true or false so i'm going to call it right here and uh, we need the gtk toolbar and now uh, I'm going to set it to false because I'm doing this basically when you try to resize the window you cannot resize it uh, uh, smaller than the size of the button as you can see here so basically this is what this function does you see you, you see no arrow arrow anymore because this is um, the thing which this function does me I'm going to set it back to true it has to be there just to have it there and the next function which um, I'm going to introduce you, uh, it is the set style. This is the next thing. Uh, GTK toolbar set style. What exactly does this function? It says alters the view of the toolbar to display either icons only, text only or both. 
and as uh, style says GTK Turbo style uh, what exactly means uh, you, you remember when we create here the button basically I said GTK button new and then I put the button inside and I put the computer as the name and if you compile it and run it you will see no name only the icon because as default its style it's set only to the icon but this be behavior you can change it so how you do it you call this function copy the first one it is the toolbar so I'm going to copy also and the second the second one uh, it will be the GTK toolbar style and here you have some you have the icons so basically this is what defaults right now you have only the icon you have the text if you choose the text then basically you will see only text you see we see only computer but we see no uh, computer icon anymore and this is because we decide to uh, to choose the text we have the toolbar both and the, uh, horizontal and the toolbar both if you have if you if you choose the both then at this point you will see a computer yes of course there are too many here isn't it uh, you will see the computer icon and the computer label or name as well watch you see and now looks different isn't it so basically this is what this function does for you uh, of course there is a un unset style uh, as well so if you call it uh, after you set the style basically defaults to its default um, statement which means it, it it has only the computer without its label or its text text so I think I'm going to stop now with this video we are going to proceed the next one with the new information that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys